Light that spark fire nation, JLD here, and welcome to Entrepreneurs on Fire, brought to you by the HubSpot Podcast Network with great shows like the MarTech Podcast. Today, we'll be breaking down why the quality of your love life will make you way more money. To drop these value bombs, I have brought Stefo Shambo into EO Fire Studios. Stefo is the founder of the Tantric Man Experience. He has a mentorship program helping men master confidence, sexual sexuality, and purpose to save their marriage from divorce or attract a meaningful relationship. And today, Fire Nation, we will break down if you can make more money when you have a great love relationship. We'll talk about transmutation. Stick around for that. We're going to talk about why high-achieving men specifically struggle within a relationship when it comes to work-life balance and what men can do to rebuild the love and balance in their relationship while continuing to crush it in business and so much more Fire Nation when we get back from thanking our sponsors. If you have an idea you want to turn into reality, then it's time to take the first step and win some awesome prizes by entering the Site It contest. Visit www.start.site to submit your idea today. The first 100 valid entries will get a standard .site domain free. That's www.start.site. According to Forbes, companies are working to fill millions of jobs in an epic hiring spree. Where do they turn? Zip Recruiter. Zip Recruiter's technology finds qualified candidates and makes it easy to invite your top choices to apply. Try it free today at ziprecruiter.com slash fire. Steffo, say what's up to Fire Nation and share something that you believe about becoming successful that most people disagree with. What's up, Fire Nation and John? Good to be here today. So, uh, yeah, what is one thing that most people would disagree with? What I would say is that there is a belief right now in the world of entrepreneurship that you must hustle and grind all the time. That the more you hustle and grind and you just force things through, the more successful you will be. Maybe to a certain degree, what I would say also, there is another way that you can do that. And that is through the path of surrendering and just flowing from passion, you know, because we believe many times that wealth comes in numbers of money. But I would also say wealth is love, happiness and love. So if we can really you know, charge this power of love, we can infuse that into our success as well. So success through surrender and not only force and hustle and grind. That will be my my first point. Success through surrender. I love that. And Fire Nation, just that feeling of the flow state. I mean, it's something that athletes get into sometimes, business men and women can get into sometimes, you know, there's just certain times through meditation, journaling, whatever that might be, when you're getting in the flow and things are just easy. And it's not always going to be that way, but when we can get into the flow, man, life is good. So as I mentioned, we're talking about why the quality of your love life will make you way more money. So Let's just get right down to it. Can we really make more money when we have a great love relationship in our life, Stefo? <laughs> great question. So, you know, the thing is that when we have passion in our life, you know, when there's passion in our relationship, in our life, in our family, in the bedroom, you know what will happen? It will transfer into your uh, business and economy and finances as well. That's simple, you know, because sexual energy, think about it, sexual energy, what is it? It's life force energy. It can create a new life, a baby on this planet. It's the most powerful energy out there in nature, right? So if this is the fundamental, why not start with the fundamentals of life. It pollinates flowers. It's the inspiration for artists to create music, to create movies, right? All these things that we find as entertainment, I would say it stems from this 
primordial sexual energy from that creativity, right? So when you have a great relationship that feels alive, it feels full of confidence and vitality and energy, you will be able to bring that into business and generate more income. You will take bolder risks because you have that confidence, right? You will ask those uncomfortable questions because you believe in yourself. You stand up for what, you know, your worth is and you set your boundaries. So that's what I would say. So much important stuff there, Fire Nation. When you are actually thinking about the full 360 degree spectrum of your life, having a great love relationship is part of that. You know, there's never that story of that person that locked themselves in a closet, worked their face off, made billions of dollars and died happy because that that person just doesn't exist. It's really those (laughs) individuals who have that full 360, 360 spectrum of everything. And again, we can't all have everything all at once, but it's working on that balance. It's working on adding the things to your life that are super important, which actually kind of brings us to a word that you use a lot, Stefa, which is transmutation. What does this mean and how does it work in the real world? Transmutation is one method or technique, if you so will, to actually produce this outcome, to transfer, you know, sexual energy or passion into more money, right? And uh, uh, I think most entrepreneurs have heard or read the book Think and Grow Rich, right? I think even you, John, you're, are, you're in a movie called The Same. I haven't I seen am. that yet. I am, yes. Yeah, so that's a classic, right? Everyone needs to read this book because there's so many gold nuggets in there. But there is one specific thing that's called sexual transmutation in this book. And most people kind of skip that chapter. And they were like, this is weird. This is a bit woo-woo. It's spiritual. And it's like, what is that, right? So he doesn't really give an, like a, a step-by-step formula. He doesn't explain how to use it. He just kind of like throws it out there and you say like, do that, right? So basically what you can do is that you can use your sexual energy and transmute that into your whatever you want, your goal, your mission, your purpose, whatever that might be, right? So uh, I actually recently recorded a, a YouTube video on how to do that. We cannot go over that whole process right now, but a step-by-step uh, process uh, on how to perform Uh, a sexual transmutation on my YouTube uh, channel. Uh, But, you know, it's really like quickly, it's really, really important to make also your sex life, your love life, your relationship a priority, not only your business, right? Because if you don't, like you will never develop in that area. Like many entrepreneurs, they say, you know, it's obvious I need a business coach, right? But why don't we think the same when it comes to sex, love, and relationship? There we're just like, okay, it should just work and we get married and everything is happy ever after, right? But it's not like that. It also need, you know, that time and dedication to develop that part as well. So learning that and learning how to move this energy is really, really important. So not to drain that energy through just, you know, uh, uh, an orgasm that is explosive out through the genitals, but instead trying to implode that and use that orgasmic energy and, and, and open the door through life with that orgasmic energy. I love this idea of harnessing the energy in the right way. And this can go in a lot of different ways. I mean, it can go in love and relationships and business and health and wellness and finances. It's all about harnessing this power, this energy that is all around us at all times. And Stefo, before we move on, can you just give us maybe a quick, small example of somebody that you've seen do this correctly? We don't need to use names or specific examples But I would just love to be able to share with Fire Nation an actual concrete example of how somebody that you've worked with, or maybe yourself even in person, whatever you want to do, has actually lived this experience. 
first of all, I am that living example. You know, I created my whole business that is thriving and it's just uh, doubling every year that I go on through sexual transmutation. That is one of my secret keys or secret sauce, if you so wish, you know, but I also see it in my clients. Those I work with, they're, they're not really specifically focusing on making more money. It's more a side effect. What they focus on is to save their marriage or to attract a meaningful relationship. But a lot of these guys, they're actually, I work with them for nine weeks. That's my program, right? And just recently, um, last month, we have two people who doubled their income in just nine weeks. And not too long ago, and this is during COVID, right? He started a new business during COVID that just exploded and took off and he made more money than he ever did in his whole life, right? So I don't want you to take my word for it, but I want you to go out and try it for yourself and see, does this work for you? Because you always believe in your own experience and you can also see the results yourself. All these testimonials are recorded on my website. So Fire Nation, I really hope you're understanding how Stefo is not just talking the talk, he's here walking the walk. And we have a lot to talk and to walk about when we get back from thanking our sponsors. There are some things in life that I like to pick out myself, so I know I've got the one that's best for me, like an avocado for the market or my next pair of running shoes. What if you could do the same thing for hiring? Choose your ideal candidate before they even apply. Now you can, thanks to Zip Recruiter's Invite to Apply. And right now you can try it for free at ziprecruiter.com slash fire. How does Invite to Apply work? Well, when you post a job on ZipRecruiter, they send you the most qualified people for your job. Then you can easily review the candidates and invite your top choices to apply. Lauren Webb, SVP of Talent Acquisition for Mindula Health, raves about ZipRecruiter's invite to apply. She says, I love that feature because we have a much higher follow-through rate if I invite the candidates. It's easy for me and it's easy for them. In fact, according to ZipRecruiter internal data, jobs where employers use ZipRecruiter's invite to apply get on average two and a half times more candidates, which helps make for a faster hiring process. See for yourself. Just go to this exclusive web address, ziprecruiter.com slash fire to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ziprecruiter.com slash fire. One more time, ziprecruiter.com slash fire. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. You're an ambitious and driven individual who has big dreams and awesome ideas, and you're ready to turn your idea into reality. So what's next? I remember back in June 2012 when I first came up with the idea to launch Entrepreneurs on Fire. I was a little nervous, but also very excited. What's one of the first steps I took? Investing in my domain name. Locking in my domain name made my idea real. It automatically gave me ownership over a home base, my website, where I'd be welcoming millions of visitors over the coming years and helping them bring their own ideas to life. And you can take the first step towards turning your idea into reality by submitting your idea to the Site It contest today. Thanks to the folks at Dot .site domains and Namecheap, you have an opportunity to showcase your idea to the world and win some awesome prizes in the process. And the first 100 valid entries will get a standard Dot .site domain to get started with their idea. Have an idea? Then the Site It contest is for you. Visit www.start.site to enter today. And remember, the first 100 valid entries will get a standard Dot .site domain for their idea free. That's www w.start.site. Stefa, we're back and let's just take a step back here and recognize that there are a lot of high achievers listening to this podcast today. I mean, Fire Nation, listen to me. You are a high achiever. This is what high achievers do. They listen, they consume to the right content. You are doing that right now. So what I want to do now is talk about men for a minute. Specifically, what does the high achieving man struggle with within a relationship? Let's go deep here. Great question because I work with men so I can only answer from that perspective. It would be a different answer if it was catered for a woman, right? So for men, I see two things, okay? Number one is what I call the walking head syndrome. <laughs> and what that means is that they're stuck in their head like a prison and their wife is complaining, saying, oh, you're not present with me. You're physically here, but, you know, you're not really emotionally available. I cannot really feel you. You're in the head 
thinking all the time about your business, you know, and I think there are many entrepreneurs out there listening to this right now who could really, really relate. <laughs> oh, yeah. <right? laughs> and some people call this like stonewalling or the checking out syndrome. But basically, it's when you're too much in your business and not allocating some mental headspace also for you know uh, family and relationships so that's number one. Second, i would say it's the people pleaser the the nice guys tendency right so maybe they feel guilty they're at work all the time or maybe they feel guilty that they're pursuing other things in life or maybe they feel guilty they're not taking care of the household the children as much so they're trying to please instead you know instead of really being there, being present, vulnerable, they become people pleaser, trying to make her happy, but then resent it afterwards, right? So that's the second category that I see again and again that creates this uh, harmony and uh, breaks the polarity and spark in relationship. So there's so much to be taking in here, Fire Nation. I mean, are you emotionally present in life? And I know that Stefo wisely is only speaking to men here because that's who he directly works with so we can speak directly about them and with them. But let's be honest. I mean, this is on both sides of the coin. I mean, we are human beings here and there are times when male, male or female, you know, we just are not emotionally present. And now what does that do? We're not emotionally present. Obviously it frustrates our partner, but also it brings guilt to the equation and guilt is a really tough thing because guilt will continue to compound and continue to make us, you know, do extra things in other areas that can just make the problem even worse. And so I really think you need to be going down this rabbit hole of understanding what you need to have this work-life balance. So let's kind of maybe talk a little bit about that. Like what do you really go into, Stefa, with your clients on this work-life balance? I mean, what are some exercises? What are some processes that you really take people down? First of all, what I always say is that what it comes down to is that you need to take ownership of the situation. You know, if you are in a rut in your marriage, in your family, in your relationship right now, don't go and blame your wife for that. Don't say that, you know, she is this or that and she's not available and she, she doesn't understand you. She's not supporting your vision, whatever it is. Take responsibility for that. If you are the man in the relationship and, you know, not talking about this different gender paradigms here, but just if you feel like you have responsibility to lead the relationship towards the direction you want, start by taking the ownership on that and focus on your emotional intelligence, right? Because it, like we said before, your business will thrive better if you develop this part as well. If the home is going well, also, your business will go better. And the second thing would be to be around other men who are great at love, you know, and get inspired by them. Like, I know you, John, you always say you're, you're always uh, like the five people you spend most time with. If you only spend time with high achievers that, that neglects their wife and children, well, <laughs> maybe you will become more like that. So also include people, men around in your life that are great at this balance, that are great at love. They're great lovers. They're great husbands. They're, you know, role models to their kids. And also understand polarity. Understand that, you know, women find certain things attractive and others unattractive. So when you understand polarity in relationship, then you can also start to make you adore you again make to want to have sex with you all the time, you know, but you need to be able to take that ownership and show up as an integrated man and show her, hey, you know, this is where we're going and I'm here with you. And then you can get back to that. Maybe, you know, if you don't have sex, don't blame it on her that she never wants. So she have a headache, you know, create the circumstances for that to happen, you know, so you can access what I call this integrated man is that you can access both assertiveness and decisiveness, but also presence, communication, vulnerability. You see, that is integration. And that, my friends, I promise you, 
it's an aphrodisiac to women. <laughs> and so don't do it yourself. I know there's a lot of do it yourself guides out there in the entrepreneurial world, you know, and but you know, we really need to also ask for help as men because so many men they feel like I do it myself or it's not manly to ask for help, but that is what keeps us stuck, you know? Because we might even think that it's weak or emasculating to ask for support, right? But if you really want success in life, you need to be able to ask for support. Real success start with the fundamental building blocks of a good relationship and family. I love that phrase, access the integrated man. And that's you, Fire Nation, being both assertive and vulnerable. Yes, it is possible to be both. And Steph, I want to end with a bang here because let's be honest, Fire Nation, my listeners here, they're either currently crushing it in business right now, or they are quickly on their way to crushing it in business. And in no way, shape, and form are we telling them you need to stop crushing it in business in order to have this other side of the equation crushing it as well. So what can a man do to rebuild both the love and balance in their relationship while continuing to crush it in business? Great question. So if I would say there is like one takeaway from this whole thing. So understand that instead of just hustling and grinding until you burn out and your wife might file for a divorce and you're not that role model you want to be for your kids, that dad that's never at home, you know, and realize that now you have the insight of how to you can actually use love making. Use passion to increase your revenue. The path of surrender, right? Instead of force, we use power. Force and power are two different energies, but on the flip side of the coin, right? So what an amazing combination. You can have more sex like most men want to, but at the same time, increase your revenue. Isn't that the holy gray, you know? So who could believe that having sex with the one you love could earn you more money. But don't let your relationship go to the dumps in pursuit of what you think success in business is, right? So it's really, really important to understand that you don't have to choose between these two. You can crush it in business and have an amazing love life at the same time. You can have both. You don't have to choose. Most people think they have to choose, but it all comes down with taking ownership, doing something about it, investing in that part as well, not only in business coaches and realizing that no one can do it for you. Not your wife, not your friends, not your kids. You have to make decision and follow up with action, you know. <laughs> so uh, if you need help with that, I have free trainings on my website that you can go and check out as well. Well, let's go there next because I want Fire Nation to really say, you know what? I'm jiving with what Steph was saying. I need to dive deeper on this. I know that this is a lacking part of my life for various reasons and I'm really understanding and connecting with what Stefo is saying, and I want to dive deeper. So let's do this. Share one final takeaway, just clear, concise, just what you really want to make sure Fire Nation gets from everything we talked about here today. Then share how we can connect with you to dive deeper into these trainings, and then we'll say goodbye. My one takeaway is that you can have it all. You can have it all. You don't have to choose one over the other. You don't have to sacrifice being a dad that is not, you know, fully present with your kids that is growing up and, you know, this precious life, right? And, you know, on the deathbed, there is research being done on, on, on uh, people who are dying on their last breath, right? And what they're saying, what they're finding in these studies is that most people, what they regret is that they didn't spend more time with the loved ones, that they didn't share more love in their life. This is what it all comes down to. 
money is great for comfort and having that freedom to spend more time with the loved ones, right? So really, really take the opportunity to have it all, have a life in balance. And I have a free training for you on my website. So if you want, you can go and check it out right now. I'm sorry, ladies, this is only for men right now, but the address is tantricacademy.com. If you're single, you can click on that training. If you're married, you can click on that training. So the two separate trainings and it's all there for you free right now. Fire Nation, you're the average. Of the five people you spend the most time with, you've been hanging out with SS and JLD today, so keep up that heat. Head over to eofire.com, type Steffo, S-T-E-F-F-O, in the search bar. The show notes page will pop up with everything that we've been talking about here today. Visit tantricacademy.com. Get your free training, all you Fire Nation men out there. And for your all the ladies out there listening, if you are in a relationship with a man, get him over there. I mean, hello, let's do this. Or if you just have a friend that's a buddy and, and you're just like, hey, I know this is going to help this individual, spread the word. Steffel, thank you for sharing your truth, your knowledge, your value with Fire Nation today. For that, we salute you and we'll catch you on the flip side. Thank you, John. Have a good one. Hey, Fire Nation, today's value bomb content was brought to you by Steffo and Fire Nation. Are you ready to rock your very own podcast? Well, if so, check out my free podcasting course where I will teach you how to create and launch your podcast for free, freepodcastcourse.com, freepodcastcourse.com. I'll catch you there or on the flippity flip side. If you have an idea you want to turn into reality, then it's time to take the first step and win some awesome prizes by entering the Site It contest. Visit www.start.site to submit your idea today. The first 100 valid entries will get a standard .site domain free. That's www.start.site. According to Forbes, companies are working to fill millions of jobs in an epic hiring spree. Where do they turn? Zip Recruiter. Zip Recruiter's technology finds qualified candidates and makes it easy to invite your top choices to apply. Try it free today at ziprecruiter.com slash fire.